Did you know that on Memorial Day at three o'clock, there's a national moment of remembrance in all the time zones here in the United States? I didn't. This is Jody with Coffee with Jody and the 85th episode. And today we're going to be talking about freedom, gratitude, transitioning, and Memorial Day. My marketing coordinator, Louisa, gave me a wonderful quote that I want to share with you about Memorial Day. It goes like this. The flag doesn't fly because the wind blows. Our flag flies because of the last breath of every soldier who gave their life for our freedom. I just love that quote and it moved me to the bones. There are lots of quotes about Memorial Day, but that one just really actually captures the essence of the sacrifices that people in our armed services have made on behalf of our freedom, the freedom that we get to enjoy today. In my life, I've been very blessed that my father was an air traffic controller in the Navy, but never ended up having to see combat. My brothers were of different ages when there was times of, of going out to the service and they never had to go to war and neither did my son. So I know that I'm very, very blessed. I also know that there are a number of people who have lost a husband, a father, a brother, or a sister, or a mother to war. And the atrocities of war around the world are still continuing today. So this Memorial Day, please take a moment and just give gratitude. Maybe that three o'clock in your local time as a moment of remembrance. I think we're gonna take that on because it's such a beautiful sentiment to stop for a moment, have a moment of silence or prayer and, you know, and express that gratitude. Somewhere out in the world, it's felt. I also wanna talk with you a little bit about the freedom that people consider business owners to have. And while that's true on some sense, on other sense, it's not. Because there's a lot that goes into being a business owner. And because I'm a business owner, I know firsthand what it's like to have payroll and to have like an influx of clients or losing clients, or being able to get it all done, uh, learning that goes along with it. There's a lot that goes into being a business owner. And yes, there's a certain amount of freedom to and go into the business of your choice, to be able to take some time off when you need to if you have the right team. But there's a lot that goes into being a business owner. And so today I'd like to also make a moment because it was Small Business Week earlier this month to really acknowledge the small business owners and their courage to be people who are providing the economic engine in our country and around our world. Now Memorial Day is also the transition from spring into summer. And so you may be having a picnic that day, but it certainly lends itself into the summer months of going to the beach or riding bikes or being out uh, water skiing or whatever kind of uh, boating you might enjoy or hiking that you might enjoy. So as we transition into the summer, we're also transitioning out of this um, very restrictive pandemic period into a whole new economic season of summer in business in the United States, because in other parts of the world, that's not necessarily the case just yet. But here in the States, we've passed some critical milestones and are transitioning into a lot more economic um, freedom, a lot more economic ability, and you know, people are kind of getting back into working, embracing working at a whole other level um, with an energy that you know, was somewhat suppressed over uh, the previous last 15, 18 months. So as you consider transitioning into this new economic period and the freedoms that go along with being a business owner, in my last video, I talked a little bit about how to transition from the pandemic world that we were in to the post-pandemic economic growth that we're entering now. You know, if you recall, it's like, what was it about your work life that didn't work? How you would like and are committed to it being? What are some first steps that you could take? All of that to overcome whatever internal and external resistance there might be 
that's usually fear. So stop this Memorial Day. Hopefully you'll be able to have a long weekend. Express some gratitude, appreciate the freedoms that we enjoy, your freedoms that you enjoy as a business owner. And if you got value from this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. If you'd like to find out more about how business coaching can support you and your business, then go ahead and schedule a 15 minute discovery call with me by clicking on the calendar below and we'll get that done. Bye for now.